Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here this evening. Before we call the meeting to order, I'm going to invite David Slider up. Please, in the invocation, David is with Grace First Presbyterian Church. Welcome, sir. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Lead us in to prayer. All of, to all of y'all. So, let us pray. Gracious God, we just thank you for uh, this beautiful day. Um, we thank you for um, what it means to us to be able to get outside and enjoy, enjoy your creation at this time of year. Um, Lord, and this time of year is a special time of year, um, and we pray that as um, this council meets tonight that you would give them guidance and wisdom and lead them in the direction that you want them to take this city. And Lord, as, as we enter closer to the Christmas season, we just are mindful of the things that we can do to um, be the light of the world for your son, Jesus Christ. In his name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for that, sir. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call the meeting to order. It is 6.30 p.m. and announce we have a quorum present. All council members here this evening. Uh, item three on the agenda is pledges of allegiance to the United States and Texas flags. That will be led by Mayor Pro Tem Wilder. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor of the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you for that. Item four on the agenda is items of community interest. Mr. Hotel. A few items. So we did have the tree lighting ceremony on December 1st and actually had. Almost 3,000 people that attended that event down there. It was a phenomenal event. Uh, that will be lit through January 2nd uh, at Heritage Park. Uh, Radius Ranch is still going on. Of course, that's a private event out at the Sheriff's Posse. Our friends that we recognized, the Peacocks, uh, a couple of meetings ago for their 25th anniversary, they're having a Pictures with Santa event uh, this Saturday from 11 to 3. Then one of the cool things that happened this past weekend on December 11th was the Operation Blue Christmas. And so that's, a, that's an event that our PD participates in each year. And so we had, we had uh, actually 10 kids that were able to help this year. And so there was nine uh, men and women from the Weather Police, De Police Department and one uh, DPS officer that started off at Chick-fil-A that morning with uh, 10 individuals that were selected from the Weatherford ISD school program to, that they were able to help. And so basically what it is is the Weatherford Police Foundation donates gift cards to these kids to help them uh, provide uh, presents for their families. And so Started off at Chick-fil-A where they had a donated meal and our officers were able to interact and provide some fellowship with those young men and women. They went to Target and helped them shop and pick out things for their families. Um, for, they also, then they went back to the ninth grade center where Sweet Amelia's had some bags for them and then Funky, oh. Money, Funky Monkey actually had some uh, snow, uh, some manufacturer of snow or ice snow that they were able to make, have a little snowball fight with as well. And so uh, really cool time. And then during that interaction that they had there too, the dispatchers were able to wrap the presents for them. So all those kids were able to take some presents home to have underneath the tree, which is a really cool event. So. Anything else, sir? That's it. Council, any items of community interest? All righty. Let's go down to item five, which is presentations and proclamations. 5A is presentation of the fiscal year 2021-2022 annual report. So we do have the annual report that I'll ask Melinda to pass out to you now. And of course, that's our professional publication that we that we produce in paper, but also have digitally available on the website. And that's, that's essentially our year-end wrap-up report for uh, the 14 different departments that we have across the city with the various descriptions of what they do, the things they've done over the past year, and then, of course, some goals that they'll be accomplishing over the next year. There was an extensive amount of work put into that from Nicole Wright, Blake Rexroat, uh, Melinda Now, and also from uh, Krista Peacock, and so we thank them for that. Uh, one of the things, just to, just to point out as you look through that, and there's a lot of things to take note in that report, but really I'll turn your attention to page 12 and 13. And that's really where it highlights some of the recognitions and awards that we received over the past year. And of course, we've had uh, several folks, uh, departments and individuals we've recognized that have come into the council chambers. We've had, of course, the TAMIO awards that our communications and marketing departments have received. Our, our Parks and Recreation Department uh, this past year received the TAF award. Uh, Region 4, which was the City of the Year Award for, for all the hard work they do for the Parks and Recreation programs. Uh, Municipal Clerk's Office was actually recognized this year with the Award of Excellence, and so they were one of a uh, few cities across, North or across the state of Texas to receive that. Uh, the Electric Department was actually recognized for, uh, with a Safety Award from the American Public Power Association. 
uh, American Public Works Association, the Texas chapter, recognized our public works folks for the work that they've done on Church and Elm with that reconstruction project. And then a few individual awards that actually happened. We had a, the uh, dispatcher in PD, Dylan Schwackhammer, which was named the Dispatcher of the Year from the North Central Texas Council of Governments. And then Travis McClure was actually named Officer of the Year from the, from the Texas chapter of the American Legion, which was really cool. Of course, all those highlight the diversity of talent that, that we all recognize within our organization, but really it helps show our citizens and our business owners just the commitment the, that all of the 365 men and women that work for the city of Wetford have towards building a strong community. Fantastic. And we're extremely proud of that. Fantastic. Thank you for the annual report. This is an excellent resource for our citizens, which should also be uh, located online, which was shared. But it's a great resource for us council. This is a quick reference guide for things. There's so much information. This is something that I keep on my desk uh, year round and, and appreciate the time and effort goes in, that goes into publishing this. Uh, ready to shift down to consent items, Council, item six. We have item 6A through 6H. Is there anything you'd like to pull out and discuss individually, or we can entertain approval as a body? What's your pleasure? Motion by Mayor Pro Tem Wilder for approval of items 6A through 6H. Second by Kevin Cleveland for the same. Any discussion on the items before we vote on them? All right, 6A through 6H. Let's vote at this time. Please indicate yay or nay. Consent items pass 5-0. Item 7 on the agenda is regular agenda items 7-A. It's consider authorizing the city manager to execute a lease purchase agreement with Motorola Solutions Incorporated in an amount not to exceed $4.9 million for the P25 system extension. A director of public safety, Lance Arnold, before you get started, sir, council, just a reminder there is is information and there will be questions I'm sure that you have that are related that are related to safety and security we will be shifting after his general public presentation into executive session for us to ask any questions that might be sensitive in nature okay chief Arnold thank you sir thank you mr. mayor members of the council Lance Arnold director of public safety um, and for the public's consumption just wanted to remind everyone uh, we did bring this at the last council meeting in November but just to, uh, what this project entails the p25 system expansion project uh, will include moving um, the dispatch center to the new public safety building and in doing that we also will add four additional consoles and the backroom equipment um, two new tower sites the Weatherford Lake site with new tower and equipment shelter and the central 700 tower site with new tower and the park site channel capacity expansion um, and really the goals that we're looking for is improving and in building coverage throughout the city providing that redundancy and operational autonomy for the city enhancing the system for operational continuity and interoperability a lot of big words there but relocate existing dispatch equipment to the new public safety building expand our dispatch positions and capabilities and expand the system users and equipment uh, and so that's that's really the big ticket kind of goals and and, and what the project is about um, at that high level any questions at this point for chief arm before you go into executive session at this point, we're going to go move into executive session under Section 551089, deliberation regarding security devices or security audits, the deployment or specific occasions for implementation of security personnel, critical infrastructure, or security devices. Council, we're going to shift to the South Conference Room, and we'll officially go into executive session at 6.38 p.m. We will reconvene back in this room to entertain possible action on this item. All right, we are back in regular session at 7.34 p.m. Council, do you wish to consider action on item 7A? I would like to make a motion that we authorize the city manager to execute a purchase agreement with Motorola Solutions Incorporated in an amount to exceed $4.9 million for the P25 system expansion. 
Motion on the floor by Matt Piscus as described for the purchase of the expansion of the P-25 system. Second by Mayor Pro Tem Wilder. Any discussion on 7A before we call for a vote? Let's vote on 7A. Please indicate yay or nay for 7A vote, please. That item passes five to zero. Item eight on the agenda is future agenda items. Council, anything? Mr. Otop. Uh, just wish all the members of the council a Merry Christmas. And they're coming up. Very well. And the rest of staff, too. Item nine is citizen comments on non agenda items. Is there anybody in the audience who'd like to speak on any item not included in our agenda tonight? Please come forward at this time. Seeing none, we'll go to item 10 on the agenda, which is adjournment. Mayor Pro Tem, quick to the trigger. Kevin Cleveland with a second. Any discussion? Are y'all ready to go home? All right, let's vote on it. Yay or nay, please. Merry Christmas to all. We're adjourned at 7.37 p.m. I'm Jeff Kevin. Matt, howdy, Merry